those classes of perception, thought, and action, and emotion. Uh, and you know, it's perception, thought, action. You, you know what they are. You can you can um, pretty much know when you're in them, and and it's a little easier to get control of them. Emotion, unfortunately, is the backdrop on which all this occurs. So you wake up in the morning, and you already already have a sense of feeling about how the day's going to go before you even think about it. So emotions are always out of the gate first, and that's a problem because sometimes they can set the tone for perception, thought, and action such that if you're in a bad mood, all of your perceptions, thoughts, and actions are pretty negative. And so, and until you until you become aware of the fact that you're in a bad mood and make the commitment to change it, uh, you're going to stay in that emotional state, and it's going to drive everything. So emotions are a little trickier because they're so quick and so out of the box. And they're always there in the background functioning that we often lose awareness of that emotional state. But if you can take, if you become aware of it, you can take control of it. So it's the, it's a more difficult one to take control of, but not impossible because it's just always there flavoring everything that you do. And if you have a lot of negative thoughts, it's difficult to get on board with strategies for changing your emotions when your thoughts, perception, thoughts, and actions are so negative. So we'll talk about external control, ways we can help individuals kind of, uh, control the workers. And once you get the workers under control, uh, then you can start talking about managers. So one of the big people ask me, what about anxiety and depression? And I would suggest to you that the, the issues here are that if you are so anxious, you can't think straight, then that's exactly what's happening. Uh, the anxiety is essentially knocking the executive control system offline and you can't use it because you're that anxious and you can't, you can't get control because your, your workers are trying to burn down the factory and the managers aren't around anymore. There's no fan managers gonna stick around while the workers are trying to burn down the factory. So at that point, it's just the workers, which means you're not gonna be able to take control of that yourself. You're likely going to need some source of ex external control to assist you, uh, an individual that you can go, you know, a therapist that you can talk to that helps you get your anxiety under control. Take medication. These are all forms of external control that essentially uh, control the workers. You know, once the workers are controlled, uh, now we can bring the managers back in and we talk about labor relations and we talk about how the managers should be interacting with the workers so that they don't rebel and try to burn down the, uh, the factory again, right? You, got, you have to have ways of taking control of the workers and supervising them effectively. And if you can learn that through techniques like CBT, then you're going to be able to manage your anxiety without necessarily having a source of external control. The goal being for you to get to the point of self-regulation internally so you don't require external control. And we'll talk about that shift from, from external control to internal self-control through bridging strategies like CBT.